right, guys, I apologize for the poor lighting. One of the comms prepper helpers here is holding the flashlight for me. But the part has started, it's printing, and hopefully this turns out right, and we'll be able to provide a good demonstration of using a 3D printer and some CAD software to design a part from scratch for amateur radio. We'll be back when this print is finished. Okay, the cool down process is complete and the parts moving forward. We'll see if I can just pull that off the bed and give you a close up. Sometimes you need a, a putty knife or pocket knife. So the heat is pretty good there. Let me get something to pry that off. Okay, I got the part free from the bed. This little ring here you see is actually a glue stick that they recommend for this material. So before I print, I put some glue stick down. That helps with adhesion. So when you're printing, the part doesn't shift on you. It feels good. It looks good. That'll be the face on the outside of the box. There's two holes on the side where I can put in some hot glue to hold the power pole connectors in place. And then that'll get inserted into the box. Nice beveled edge. Gives me some contact surface to glue it into the box. And hopefully this makes the box look cleaner. I'll be right back. Okay, we got the new part installed. Two sets of Anderson power pole connectors. One will go to my battery and the other one will go to my solar panel. They'll feed my Morningstar Sun Saver charge controller for my Arden node that I take out into the field. And this is a good demonstration of how you can use Fusion 360 to design a part and then print it on a 3D printer to enhance your amateur radio communications capability and your general emergency preparedness. And as always, thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a part design and printing on a 3D printer. Thanks for watching, everybody.